Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Neal's Lego Robotics. Well, I'm in my car right now driving across the hot California desert. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm really not. Um, this is actually just me in a make-believe car going across a make-believe desert. And it's actually being run by a robot here. And so if you want to see how I did this and make one of your own, you're going to have to stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so I've always been a huge fan of movie making. And, you know, even to date myself, I even like to go back, way back when, when movies, you know, the special effects were really bad, but it made it seem like things were moving. Check this out. <laughs> hey, why not be able to make that with a robot? So I took my Spike Prime and Inventor kit. In fact, you don't need both. You can actually make this with just one. But I was just sitting down on the ground and I, I just was able to take parts from both. But if you think about it, the Inventor kit and what I used has the same thing as a Spike Prime. So feel free to be able to use either one on this one. But it was just be, it was really cool to be able to sit down and kind of think this one through and go, how can I make a moving you know picture scene here out of the spike prime and or inventor pieces so i'm going to go ahead and show you today how i did everything and let you again like you just saw be able to see the movie that i made i mean it's not really a movie but just the moving scene that i made i went ahead and cut two strips of paper that were perfectly sized for the black picture frame okay so i took the two pieces of paper here and I did Mr. Hino art gave myself a little Hino robotics billboard there um, you guys know I live in California so I thought I would just do a desert theme here that yeah, kind of looks like Arizona doesn't it a lot of my students like to dirt bike ride so I just thought I'd give them a shout out there so what I'm gonna do now is just uh, tape these together like so and I will put that into the robot and we'll have our background rotating scene. So this is actually how it started. I had this big picture frame here. It was just resting on this um, platform here. And I was like, you know, that kind of looks like a movie theater. And so that's kind of where I got the idea for this. So if you can take a look, there's two of these base plates and then there's this large picture frame. And so that's all I did was I just took these motors here and that's what I did. I just created um, a movie picture here where I just took some paper and was be able, able to just string it around these motors and have it just rotate the paper. So you're going to just take a look at this and these are basically all the pieces you're going to need with some paper and hopefully some artistic ability. So the, what you see right here are just going to be the pieces that you'll need. Okay, so now that I have both of the scenes put together, I just taped them. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to hook them over these two axles right here. And the gears here are just going to be used to turn the scene. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. We're just going to place that part over here. You might have to lean in and just give this a little bit of a push and then it should slide down and I have to just there you go just carefully you don't want to rip the paper just work its way down like that and what I did was I went online found myself a little convertible I used a convertible so my big head would you know be able to fit and that's all I did and um, you'll have the motors, when you program the motors, have the motors running the same direction. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And when you film this, I made sure that I got the camera down just so that it fits into this picture frame here. And so...
And then you definitely have to be mindful of what direction your car is going. So if your car is facing to the left here, I had to make sure that the paper was you know, rotating that way. If your car is facing this way, then obviously your paper is going to have to rotate that way. And that's it. So now let me go ahead and give you the version of what it will look like when the camera is focused in just on this picture frame. And there you have it. I'm in my car and the scene is rotating in the direction that makes it look like my car is moving. And it's just really neat to be able to take it from the beginning stages where I was just drawing the background to be able, able to see this now, uh, you know, as a real full on moving picture movie, I guess you would call it. So it's just kind of neat to be able to make a movie kind of like they did way back when, when, you know, special effects were not really special, but you know, putting it together to make it look like a movie. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And what would be really neat is in the future to just be able to make more of these, you know, have different type of scenes. You know, I might be at a, uh, a race, uh, race car event. I, you know, I could be uh, along the coast, you know, just make different scenes for this. So that's the neat part of this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Okay, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed, I don't even know what to call it, um, my inventor spike prime movie making robot I don't know but it was just it was really fun a, a really fun project to be able to just take it from the beginning stages doing some artwork and then putting it together with the robot that's why I love the Zoe trope I'll leave you a link at the end of this video to that one because you're taking something artistic and mixing it with a robot and it's always really cool when you can do that you know mixing in your different elements and it's just so cool okay guys hopefully you enjoyed it I am Mr. Hino from Mission Sega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.